Let me show you guys how to actually do this problem. The first thing you need to understand is because we're dealing with circles, we need to know this key formula. There's no way around that. You need to know this. The second thing you want to do is label your diagram accurately. Because we have two circles, I'm going to call the smaller circle, circle one. I'm going to call the second circle, circle two. We know that for circle number one, the radius is one third that of circle number two, which means that because we don't know anything about the radiuses, we can just write this down as X for the smaller one. Your radius for the big one is three times X. If I draw out a circle that combines the two radiuses, the circumference of the new red circle is the same path that the smaller circle needs to travel to get to its original spot, just like how it says in the problem statement. Once we know the circumference of the big red circle, we can see how many times does the circumference of the black circle fit inside, which is how many revolutions it will take to get to its original spot. We know that the radius of the red circle is simply the radius of the blue circle plus the black circle. So that's three X plus four X. So that means that the radius of the big red circle four times X. So that's going to give you C eight pi times X. All we need to do is find out what is the circumference of the black circle so we can see how many times it fits into the eight pi X. We know that the circumference of the small circle, which we'll know as C one is equal to two pi times the radius, which we said was X in the beginning. So two pi X. All we need to do is take the circumference of the red circle and divide it by the circumference of the small circle. So we divide this by two pi times X and you're going to get the ratio is equal to four. So that means it takes four revolutions to get to its original spot.